Watch the full video of this 1500 square feet compact home that has a distinct presence in the neighborhood while also achieves comfort through well lit and open interior spaces. Head to the description to also download the PDF ebook with house plans and material details. Till then, I hope you enjoy this video. I would like to take the opportunity to not call it a compact house. Um, I would rather call it a maximum house because project gives us lot of opportunities to celebrate the program, to celebrate the facade, the elevation, and to celebrate the interior spaces that we have. So our client is basically born and brought up in the old city of Chandni Chowk. He has spent most of his life living in narrow streets in the haveli's of Chandni Chowk. He's very clear about his aspirations that he wants a contemporary house for him and his family. But he's also connected with this old qualities that he had in his house. He wants them. When he has this new house, it takes him back to the traditional house where he was living. What he decided is that he'll buy a plot of land with his friend and two of them will build a unit that can be basically designed as per his own requirements. So the lower two floors was will be taken up by the friend and they will be developed as individual floor units and the upper two floor will be developed by the client himself as a duplex unit for his family of four. And it's in a lush green neighborhood of uh, East Delhi. So site is a 17.7 meter long by 8.1 meter wide site. So basically this is the north site is west and east west oriented there's a neighborhood shopping complex right in front so that's the neighborhood shopping complex it has got another 10 feet wide service lane at the back and then there is there are series of other mixed uh, typology of development there are few low height individual bungalows and there are few apartment blocks next to it so it has got few of these nice let's say there is a big gulmohar tree here naturally the site was very well shaded with lot of trees so that was the advantage that was the asset that we had as one approaches to the building the first thing that they see is this north facade the main front facade of the building is actually the west facade but as one approaches from this side the side facade which is the north facade actually becomes the main facade we had a flat 59 feet by 54 feet high facade so we created multiple openings of variable size at all the floors uh, that was the first thing to get lot of this north light without layer the next thing was to highlight these sort of lintel and sill lines and then accentuate the facade using south black granite of varying textures where uh, you have a, a, a normal polished stone a, a sandblast finish of it a leather finish of it and kind of creating a pattern talking about the west facade as anyways it's a west facade the altitude goes down that's the reason we got complete length of balconies at the lower two floors that was the first thing that we decided it's very crucial for us to give it an identity that is one another thing because it was not safe by any tree in front it has got a very seamless view of the context so we then finally decided to do a sliding folding system the lower two floors actually function as different units whereas the upper two floor works as a duplex so the main challenge was how to use the same staircase as a space within the duplex after second floor when you are taking the flight we actually introduce this wall with a door within the stair flight and then beyond this it becomes a staircase within the duplex after the half flight on second floor we uh, 
converted the staircase into a steel staircase so that it becomes lighter we have these planters and a green wall which then is further opened up to the sky so that you get more of this natural light into the stairwell and it looks more lively so you see nice play of light and shade from that top jal you enter through a glass door into the living area the client actually wanted the whole floor to be in a very light muted color so we intentionally used white makrana with the nice brass details in, done in a very contemporary way so the border you will see with the brass thin strips and some corner border at all the four corners all the walls are done with the muted shades of light gray then you have a six seater dining on right on the top of the dining you have dark tan stone ceiling with a uh, light which is uh, which is very modern light from dining you have mandir which is in northeast so there is a small slit window behind the mandir then you can see the band from the veneer ceiling right in front of the mandir ties the living and the dining all together further on the south eastern side you have kitchen which is connected with a small utility space you suddenly see a popping teal color in the kitchen so all the, we came up with the idea let's do let's highlight the kitchen and do all the shutters in a pop teal green color so master bedroom is again placed in southwest corner of the plot and which is attached with the toilet and the dress so you again get lot of filtered light into the space we have used again the same white makrana but this time we have done it in a Uh, what we call in a local language in a patang chal at and at every joint you see these copper biscuits we extended the line of sight so whenever you are into one corner you can actually see through the whole building you can see from balcony to the balcony from the staircase to the exterior of the other corner from southern side to northern from eastern to western everything is open you have lot of windows to get natural light in so the space looks bigger the third floor basically belong to the two uh, boys that the client have so one is elder brother and one is a younger brother what we did here is we have done a patterned veneer ceiling so we got the veneer panels engraved in a certain pattern and we have kept it in a kind of a coffered way and again you have this uh, protruding windows through which you again get lot of light into the interior space going further that's the elder brother's bedroom and uh, that's his study so we have placed a wardrobe to kind of subdivide the two areas in a in one room so that it don't look oversized and this helps in making the study room more of a cozy space because the elder son is more into gaming whereas the study here in the younger son bedroom you have this glass box where you get a nice visual of the front lush green area and you have a seat here next to the protruding glass window where you can sit and have a cup of tea and the study area again is done here in a tone of blue so it kind of creates a contrast with the study area that is there for the elder son this is the younger son's bedroom and uh, the evening sun actually creates a very beautiful patterns in the room uh, we can drag the lures uh, that are on the west side of the elevation they bring in a lot of play of light and shade inside the room you can see different patterns that run
you actually need not have to use lot of air condition because this, the the upper two floors also are placed at a higher level so you get a very good induced flow of air we actually don't think about what we are finally getting at the end of the day we are thinking about how the whole process is going on how we are we are doing the uh, facade how we are doing the details how we are talking about the furniture we and the client together going to the furniture manufacturer for us it's a canvas that we are painting so we are not uh, concerned about just one stroke that is going right or wrong it's about the whole artwork how is it coming up